In this video, what I'm focusing on is the split step. So while you're watching me hit these shots, what I want you to be noticing is when I do a bit of a hop. So the hop is coinciding right as the ball is coming out of the ball machine. So we need to think about the ball machine as my opponent. So what is happening is right before my opponent strikes the ball, or as the ball machine shoots a ball out, I do a bit of a hop. That is called a split step. And what it does is, if you notice, it gets me into a good, solid, ready position. It's allowing me to be ready. It's putting me on my toes a little bit more. And it helps me get a little bit clearer of what kind of ball is coming to me. Now, you see I've moved up to the transition zone. And you'll be able to see the split step a little more clearly. Again, watch how I hop. And then, as the ball comes into play, you see I'm ready for it. And again, what that hop does is it allows me to see the ball a little clearer. It allows me to be actively engaged with my feet, which is allowing me to play the ball more effectively. In other words, I'm not letting the ball play me. So again, watch the hop. It's subtle. It's not like I'm jumping like a kangaroo, <laughs> but I'm just doing a simple little skip or hop. Everyone's going to have a little bit of variation to how they do a split step. I'm doing it now on the kitchen line. So again, right before the ball comes out or has contact with the opponent's paddle, I do a skip. Going back to the baseline to illustrate what it looks like ooh, between the legs, what it looks like from the baseline. Little hop, gets me prepped, puts me engaged, allows me to play the ball. Little hop from the transition zone, puts me in play, allows me to play the ball more effectively. It keeps me tuned in to the activity that is occurring on the other side of the net. And I will be doing this hop even if I'm the one that's not hitting the ball. So if the shot is actually going to my partner, I'm still going to be doing a split step because I want to be ready and engaged. It keeps me tuned in with my partner, allows better movement, keeps me engaged with the point, keeps me engaged with my opponents. You start doing that, you're going to play much, much better pickleball. And again, notice the hop. Play with thought, my friends.